Um, <coughs> applied behavior analysis uh, has been along, uh, around for many years, um, but it just recently has really come to the forefront with, uh, with the media uh, really being a part of uh, promoting it as a treatment for autism or Asperger's uh, disorder. Um, and with, with that, there have been uh, quite a few celebrities that have really brought that to the forefront and, and have really brought applied behavior analysis in as uh, really the only m uh, modality of treatment that's uh, been proven to be effective. Um, the great thing about applied behavior analysis is that it utilizes the scientific uh, principles to actually uh, do an assessment. And once you assess, then you treat based uh, uh, upon your assessment. Um, and it, it's very important because as part of that process, um, applied behavior analysis is very heavy on teaching um, uh, appropriate social skills. So as we had talked about earlier, uh, a behavior is uh, any interaction that you would have uh, within the environment. Every environment dictates uh, a behavior change for a different person. So your behavior is going to be dictated based upon your environment. And the appropriateness of that behavior is going to be dictated on the environment. Uh, an example of that would be if I were to uh, yell and scream uh, and jump up and down in church, that may be a behavior uh, by itself that may not be appropriate in that environment. But if I was yelling and screaming and jumping up and down at a football game, that would be deemed as more appropriate. So the concepts of applied behavior analysis really look at uh, your environment, uh, the environmental factors, the people who you are interacting with. 